hi now we are going to see about the um, linked list operations uh, in last video we have seen there are two operations insertion and deletion today we will de see about the insertion operation in detail there are three types already we have seen insertion at the beginning insertion at the um, uh, end and insertion in between any of the two data like that so first we will see about uh, insertion at the beginning of the linked list uh, just i have given one linear linked list here 10 is the head 20 30 40 are the elements 40 is the final element of or final node of the linked list so here in linked list we have to represent uh, the element in the linked list as a node <coughs> not as the element <coughs> In, whereas in array and all we are telling it is an element whereas in linked list here we have to uh, just represent this as a node because it is not an element because element is uh, just consisting of only the element actual data uh, means only one value it is having but here it is having two value one is the actual value and another one is the address of the next node so we have to call every uh, element in the node uh, sorry every element in the linked list as node only so just to see this sequence of linked list we are going to see insertion at the beginning of the linked list for the first step is we have to create a new node uh, which here 10 is the new node which is having one address field and and one that this is a data field this is the address field so this is one linked list which is already existing we are going to add this new node as the beginning of the linked list so as this is the old linked list we know this 20 is the head node or the front node this is the final node or the end node so this end node will have the null value in the address field <coughs> this is the head node we have created one new node we want to add this in the front so to add this in the front first step is create the new node once you have created the new node then you have to create the link from the new node which will point the head node okay so you have to create the link between the old head node that is your second step third step is you have to create or you have to declare this new node as the head node once you have created the link you have to declare this as the head in the program so only three steps you have to create the new node second one is you have to create the link between the head of the old list then you have to declare this as the head of the new list now you have just inserted one node at the beginning of the list this is how you have to just insert the new node in the beginning of the link list second we are going to see about the insertion at the end of the link list same like that here we are going to see 40 we are going to add okay same like that consider this is the link list here just to first step you have to create the new node 40 okay this 40 new node this address field you have to just create it as a null okay because this is your final node so it will not have any link between the next data so this address field of this new node should be null when you are adding the data at the end of the linked list that is your first step you have to create new node second step is you have to make sure this part is part of the new node is null next is you have to create the link from last node to the new node so last node will be null before instead null that you have to create the link to the new node this is your new node so address of the next node of the last node you have to give the link to the new node okay
so next is insert the node at the middle of the single link request so here same like that you have to create the new node first so i am creating 30 as the new node and then you have to decide where you want to insert this node either you want to insert in between 10 and 20 or you want to insert between 20 and 40 or you want to insert between 40 and 50 like that you have to decide so first you have to create the new node once you have created the new node and then in case if you want to insert this 30 in between 20 and 40 then you have to traverse till the n minus one n minus one to position of the linked list so if you want to insert in between 20 then you have to travel between 20 and 40 then you have to travel till 20 traverse so once you have reached 20 then you have to give a connection from new node to the n plus 1th position new node already you have created then the address of the next field you have to give the connection to the next node n plus 1th node then there is a connection between 20 and 40 you have to take this connection and you have to connect it to the new node next step is you have to give the address of the next node of 20 will be pointing to the new node so only three steps so this n minus one node of the address will be pointing to the new node this is the third step now it is connected with the new node n minus one node will be connected to the new node this is how you have to insert at the beginning you have to insert at the front and you have to insert at some specific new um, sorry insert at any uh, two nodes in between any two nodes if you have any doubts regarding this you can do comment we will see how to delete data from the end and how to delete the data from beginning how to delete the data in between in the next video in detail thank you